Hi, my name's Jassy. I'm one of the recipe writers at Able & Cole, and today I am in Devon at Eversfield Farm. And today I'm lucky enough to be cooking in their kitchen. And today I'm going to show you how to make a Christmas classic, um, chestnut stuffing. Uh, I have already done a lot of the prep because mostly it's just chopping and mixing. Um, but the base for our stuffing is the wonderful sausage meat that um, Eversfield make. Uh, which is a sort of mixture of organic pork, sausage meat, uh, spices and herbs. And I am just going to add a few things to it. It's very simple. First thing I've got, of course, is organic uh, cooked chestnuts, which I've uh, chopped very finely. So I'm just going to chuck those in. That is, now this is one of these sort of rough and ready recipes. Uh, so that is about a mug, ramekin cup. I've also got one onion, which I've tried to chop as finely as possible. Also got sage, which smells incredible. Um, just the leaves, chopped as finely as I can. Uh, three to four tablespoons full. Just chuck that in as well. And then we've got breadcrumbs. Now I think this is more than I actually need. This is about a mug. So I'm just gonna add half and see where we go with that. And obviously pork and sage, classic mixture. Add in an apple. all this in. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to add is a splash of uh, Luscombe Devon cider when in Devon. Use the cider. So I'm going to add, what I'm going to estimate is two to three tablespoonfuls. And then, very simple, you can use a wooden spoon if you like, but nothing is going to work better than just getting uh, sort of stuck in with your hands. So just or one hand as I'm doing it right now. But just giving it, squeezing it all together. It's a bit like making um, koftas where you're just sort of squeezing all the, the meat and the spices. Mm, it smells delicious. Possibly that's the cider. Okay, well that's really well mixed. Now, I didn't season it. Uh, two reasons I'm not seasoning it. Uh, firstly, is that the sausage meat has already got seasoning in it. Um, and secondly, this is pretend Christmas, and I'm imagining that this is about to be served up as part of your Christmas dinner, which will already have seasoned gravy, lots of seasoned veg, seasoned meat going on, that's already a lot of basically salt and pepper on your table, and you can be certain someone is just going to dump a lot more salt and pepper onto it, so I'm going to leave it as is. If you do want to check the seasoning, the best thing to do is to just break off a little bit, just a little tiny bit like that, flatten it down, Fry it in a little bit of oil till it's cooked through and then taste it. That's how you can find out whether or not it's got enough salt or pepper. Um, I'm just going to leave it. Uh, what I am going to do is transfer it to this lovely dish and just pat it down. Just show you that there in the dish. Uh, at this stage, you could be making this on Christmas Eve, just cover it up with some uh, cling film or foil and just pop it in the fridge and then take it out of the oven around about an hour before you want to put it in, um, just to sort of bring it back up to room temperature so it cooks evenly. I'm just going to wash my hands. Okay, so uh, now all I'm going to do is slide this into the oven. Uh, so I'm cooking in an agar, so we'll find out how long it takes. I'm using the bottom right for agar cookers. I'm going to guess that home you do it about gas mark 590 degrees, fan 170, and I reckon 40 to 45 minutes should be more than enough. Success! Chestnut stuffing with sage and wonderful organic sausage meat from Eversfield Farm successfully baked in an agar. Merry Christmas!